Welcome to Jikoni Magic's Mesa. To jump the menu is kumawiki or colored greens or kills. This is one of Kenya's staple vegetables. There are a few varied preferences in its preparation and I'll explain them as we go along. To prepare it is very easy. Start by adding two tablespoons of your favorite oil to the sufuria. I used sunflower oil in my case. Remember the heat is on medium at this point. Swirl the oil around so that it coats the entire bottom of the sufuria. Then add one finely diced medium sized onion. Let it cook until it turns translucent. If you prefer more color to your onions, cook for slightly longer but do not let them burn. Some people add ginger and garlic but I do not because I feel like their flavor overpowers my skumawiki so I normally leave them out. Next, add two medium sized tomatoes that are fully ripe and cut up to medium sized dices. If chopped into larger pieces, it will be harder to cook them down completely. Add salt to taste. This will help in seasoning the food as well as in drawing out the moisture of the tomatoes hence making them break down fast then you're going to reduce the heat to low cover the sufuria and let the tomatoes simmer gently for about five minutes for them to break down and release their juices here we are after five minutes tomatoes have broken down and the oil has started separating out next add the skumawiki i mixed mine with some bit of spinach because of two reasons first in my opinion it adds more flavor and secondly it softens faster hence cutting down on the cooking time and please forgive me here because the camera for some reason froze for some two three minutes and i was not aware so just to explain what i did during this time I added quarter of a green hoho or bell pepper that I had chopped into these small cubes. This is totally optional. I prefer it because of the smell and flavor. I also want to point out that when I'm in a hurry, I add the tomatoes to the sufuria and immediately follow up by adding the skumawiki on top of them. I do not let the tomatoes cook alone in the sufuria. The skumawiki will still come out very very tasty some people do not believe in covering the skumawiki while it's cooking because they want to retain the vibrant green color personally i cover mine but very briefly because i want them to cook faster from the buildup of steam inside the sufuria so reduce the heat cover the sufuria and leave the skumawiki to cook for about five minutes cooking on low heat also means that i do not have to add any water to the dish the skumawiki cooks in its own natural juices as you can see the skumawiki has not turned into that unattractive olive green color the color is still appealing enough and plus the spinach helps because it cooks very fast and adds a soft texture to the skuma if you're cooking plain skuma you might need to cook it for slightly longer if you're not a fan of the vegetable crunch because skumawiki can sometimes be fibrous and chewy and that's it guys the only thing that i add to round off the flavor of the entire dish is a handful of dania or coriander leaves and i turn off the heat Dania is also an optional ingredient here but for me it's just one of those ingredients that brings all the flavors together the skuma was slightly crunchy at this point but not mushy I served skumawiki with ugali and egg stew. If you want to see how I made the ugali, click on my previous video. I've even provided a link for you to follow. That's it for today. Until next time, God willing, please keep it jikoni magic kwa herini ya kuonana.